welcome back to Jason's Macintosh Museum. This is part two in the video series on the Macintosh 128K from 1984. And we now have the 128K assembled and we have a keyboard and mouse connected. So we have the standard Macintosh keyboard and we have the original Apple mouse. So at this point, we'll start it up and wait for it to ask for a boot disk. <laughs> so you can see that uh, <laughs> it boots up very, very quickly. So obviously because there is no internal hard disk, it's now waiting for me to insert a floppy to boot from. So. What we'll now do is we'll now get, get in closer and we'll try some software. Okay, so the Macintosh 128K is now um, waiting for a startup disk. So I'm going to first of all try the guided tour of Macintosh. So this disk, if it's going to focus, there we go. This disk came with the original 128K and was designed to give people a guided tour of the graphical user interface that the Macintosh had because of course it was all brand new at the time. So let's put that in and start it up. So as you can see it takes you straight into the uh, the um, guided tour here. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So the electronic desk is <laughs> I think what they called the uh, the desktop back then. So let's uh, let's have a look at the electronic desk. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. So that that's not me moving the the mouse pointer. That's in fact the the program doing that automatically. You just get the camera adjusted here. There we go. Now. I should mention that there is actually an audio tape that goes along with this disc and you're meant to play that tape while using this program, therefore we don't have the narration here as to exactly, uh, as to exactly what's being explained, but I think you can see that it's going through the, the concept of, of uh, drop-down menus and icons and, uh, and how they're all supposed to work. So we'll, uh, we'll quit out of that if we can. Can we quit out of that? Uh, it won't let me... Um, uh, okay, it won't let me quit out of there. <laughs> um, Alright, I may have to... Uh, may have to reboot the system in order to get, uh, get back in. Okay, I've just rebooted the, uh, the Mac because I couldn't quit out of the, uh, the previous um, section we were in. Um, so, why don't we try the maze? You can actually, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but you can hear the 400k drive has a very distinctive um, seek sound as compared to the 800 and uh, 1.4 megabyte drives. for us, is it? I 
think I follow this. It's even used as a program to get people used to using a mouse. <laughs> okay, good. Can I have a go? Let me have a go. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I follow that. I want to have a go. Come on, let me have a go. It's cheating. <laughs> oh, now it's going to quit out there without letting me have a go. takes you back to the uh, back to the main uh, menu I suppose ah well I think we'll uh, let me yes let me use my Macintosh yes I want to have a go this time I presume this just takes you into the um, into the finder and uh, lets you uh, let you loose on it <laughs> notice that it has a special menu called training up here so I'd say this was a customized version of the Finder specifically for the uh, for the guided tour disc. So what we're looking at here is the very first version of the Macintosh Finder, version 1.0, January 1984, Apple computer. Now this was quickly updated, I think, to 1.1G, which had a slightly different um, about screen. But apparently, this is the very first version of the Macintosh Finder, and as you can see, it looks very much like the newer versions of the system software, even up to, say, System 7, in fact. You've still got all of the various items, scrapbook, alarm clock, oh, the control panel. Let's have a look at the control panel. Now, I know the control panel was a little bit, well, much simpler. As you can see, what we've got is um, speaker volume, date and time. Uh, I presume that's um, delay before repeat and repeat rate for the keyboard, menu blink rate, cursor blink rate, double click speed, desktop pattern end, mouse tracking speed. Very simple. So, ooh, puzzle. What have we got here? Oh, I see, you have to, nah, nah, it's enough of that. Now, a couple of other interesting points to note about the original Macintosh Finder. The disk icons are a little bit different, as you can see, and also watch the animation that takes place when you open a window. Notice that it it expands out from the middle. It doesn't expand out from the icon's position, which is a little bit um, unusual. So we've got the various guided tour programs there. Uh, system folder. We have there. No, well, not much. Remember, in fact, this is only a, a 400k disk, and we still have. 43k available, even after the system software and the guided tour is on here, so <laughs> that's quite impressive. So what we'll do now is we'll now restart the 128k up off another boot disk and have a look at some old Macintosh programs like Mac Paint and Mac Write. I've now rebooted the Macintosh 128k and we're now going to start it up off a different disk.
so this disk is running system 1.1 G and if we have a look on here we should have some old applications that we can have a look at we've got Mac draw and Mac project let's have a good Mac draw Okay, so this is uh, Mac Draw, and mm -hmm. August 1984. So typical drawing package. We probably have the various uh, tools. We can draw uh, draw lines and, uh, and squares and circles and <laughs> all that good stuff. It's probably a freehand tool. Nice. Right, so, mm -hmm. We've obviously, being a drawing package, we can manip manipulate the objects and uh, move them around and resize them. Uh, what else have we got? Change the style of any text, font, layout, change the uh, the order in which they're displayed. That's that's good. Uh, different fill patterns. Yes. Hmm different lines and different uh, pens shapes. Well, for a drawing package, that's pretty good. And uh, remember that this is all running on a machine with only 128 kilobytes of system memory. So that's that's pretty impressive. So we won't save. Let's have a look at uh, Mac Project. Uh, ah, okay. They put the online help inside the about box. Uh, okay. So if I draw a box, So I should be able to link them together. Oh, that's drawing another box. Oh, get that out of there. Aha, okay. So, okay, schedule, resource, okay, I see how this works. There's your timeline. Task timeline, ah, very good, very good. Hmm. Hmm, not bad. Yep. Nope. Okay, well I think at this point we'll shut down. But notice that there is no shutdown command in system one. The only thing to, you can do is to simply turn the power off. <laughs> so, but I think we can in fact eject the disk, which means it will save any information and uh, allow us to turn the power off safely. So if we eject that disk, we should be able to doubt. Just turn the power off. So, that was a demonstration of the original Macintosh, the 128K from 1984. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.